So I put my e-bike battery on charge and I haven't actually ridden my e-bike in months so this thing should have taken some charge and the charger turned green after about five minutes which is not a good sign. It probably means that there's some out of balance cells in here and the problem is you really have no way of knowing the health of the battery when it's in this configuration because you can't tell the individual um, series if they're all in balance. Um, if I put a multimeter on it, okay, it's 49 volts and this is a 54 volt battery, but the charger says it's full. Well, that's because the BMS is, is turning off the, the charge circuitry because one of the packs is full and probably another pack is empty. So we need to take this apart and see uh, what's going on now. Um, I have a new tool that I've never really used, but this allows you to read the health of batteries up to 48 volt batteries. And it has both types of, of balance lead connectors. Um, so no matter wh whether you have the, the small pitch connector or the larger pitch connector, this can read it. So we should be able to plug this in to the BMS's balance lead and read the health of every pack in here and see where we're at. Anyways, let me open this up and we'll check. Okay, here's our BMS balance lead. It's a bit tight, but I'm gonna try and unplug the balance lead and then plug it into this device, even though I don't have very much cable lead. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do here. Let me cut this piece of tape, which is holding the wires in place. Let me unplug this BMS lead. Okay, I have a lead free here. Now we need to plug it on here. Now the trick is you have to find your most negative. Okay, this says that B negative is the inside pin here and B negative is this black wire on the side here. So this plugs in like this. Oh, it's on, but okay, there we go, it's on. Let me rotate this so that you can see. Let me bring you in and try and get rid of that glare for you. So, what is this telling us? This is telling us that most of the cells are at 3 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.8, 3.9, 4, 3.7, 4, 4, 3.92. This battery is in incredibly poor health, um, which is unfortunate. Um, we are definitely going to have to try and do some significant balancing to this battery. Um, yeah, so um, I'm not even, and I don't believe this has balancing on it. Um, no, I don't believe this can actually do any balancing, but it is nice to visually see that this battery is in really poor health. Those cells are so far apart. Um, Yep. Okay, so our choices here are I have an 8S balancer. The problem is this is uh, 50, uh, no, 13, 13 strings. So I don't have a balancer large enough, and there really aren't RC balancers large enough to balance this. We could. We could, um, yeah, I'm trying to decide what's the best way to do this. I mean, these first cells are in, in you know, they're all 3.6. There's just a handful of cells that are out of balance. Yeah, I'm, I could build a harness that plugged into this and and went to a balancer and did like the first eight and then the second seven or whatever it is. And, and balance them in groups separately. Um, 
I almost have to. I'm really, really thinking here how I want to handle this. Yeah, I think I might have to build some sort of adapter harness. Let me, let me, let me dig in my box and see what, what leads I have and see if I can build some sort of adapter for this and see if I have something with this kind of pitch. And, uh, then we will, uh, we'll go from there. You know, the interesting thing is I wonder if these are live with the same voltage. If these are wired across this, I might be able to use, if I got something that matches this pitch, I might be able to, um, I might be able to build, use something with this pitch and plug it on here as a way of balancing. Let's see here. 3.6. This should be the high one. 4. Yeah, so these pins are electrically tied to these pins. So I think I do have a wire that has this pitch diameter. Um, so, yeah, maybe I can build a rig that plugs onto here and then balances through this device to convert the pitch. Let me see what I got. Okay, so what I have done is I have built a harness that plugs onto this end and effectively it's joined onto this connector. And the first eight cells, because this is an ADS balance cable, are running over to this toolkit RC over here, which in turn is plugged, which is plugged into my uh, uh, bench power supply just to power this. Um, we have no main positive and negative connected. We only have the balance wires plugged in. And luckily the toolkit RC can balance using only balance wires. Some of the RC charges require the main positive and negative to be attached as well or else it won't go into it won't let you do a balance and I can't plug the main plus and minus right now because that would be a the 48 volt plus and minus and right now this thing thinks it's only seeing a 24 volt battery and only balancing the first eight cells so the eight cells are here it's in balance mode um, and uh, we will uh, let it balance away. And what it's going to do is, if you can, what you can see is, it's shooting for that 3.62 voltage. It's going to discharge the other cells down to 3.62, which are the lowest, one and four. Then when I switch the balance wires to the top, you know, six cells or whatever it is, if I'm lucky, well, then some of these cells will become part of the top group. And some of these cells will then be at 3.62 and the balancer will see that the the lowest cells are 3.62. And so it will discharge the top cells down to 3.62. And in theory, in theory, all the cells will be at 3.62 when this process is over. Now, this is a slow process. I assure you, these these balances are slow they pull millivolts um, and so I mean this potentially could be you know eight hours of balancing but the rig is is set up as you can see and uh, we'll just keep an eye on it and see how things go so I've decided to hook up the eye charger uh, which is a much more aggressive balancer and the only problem with the eye charger is it requires a main positive and negative from each end of the battery. So to spoof that, I am using these crocodile clips to tap the most negative and the most positive connection off the balance leads so that it can it can read the outer voltages. And it is um, it's happy with that and it is running a balance right now. You can see it's lithium ion balance. And it's working on this high cell right now. That little symbol is the balance symbol. So um, we're going to let this have a go at balancing and see if we can get this battery perfect. So I'm really loving this interface. It, you know, most of these cells are now balanced, but there's one or two low ones. And I can actually just use this two pin connector and put some voltage through it um, to bring up that one single low cell rather than trying to bring all the other cells down to it, I can bring that one low cell slightly up. And you can see we're getting really close on the balance here. I'm just trying to bring up that, that 3.8 there. 
Um, but you can see we are getting really, really close on the balance here. So yeah, I like this interface. It's it's, it's nice to take this and then split it out and have access to the, the different cells here while being able to monitor things here. All right, I think that's good enough to put it back on the charger and just take this battery to full. So the charge is still charging, but this battery is already up to 54.3. So this battery is basically fully charged and balanced. We would never have got to over 54 volts if any cells were out of balance. Um, so this battery is uh, successfully balanced and successfully, um, you know, revived. I am going to put a spot of hot glue on this balance lead since I've been pulling it in and out so much. I don't want it to come loose when I put the battery back together. But uh, this battery is healthy and charged and uh, good to go.